at the spot where this whole thing came to an end, but it was shots fired at one point, apparently between two vehicles. Where are we right now? This is going to be the southbound 14 where this drones the southbound 5 freeway. We're right in the Newhall Pass, very close to Newhall. I was robbed at gunpoint. I was robbed at gunpoint. And I also went to jail for this, and I was also on probation for this. You can see a number of officers down there from the California Highway Patrol and the Sheriff's Department, and one of those vehicles, at least one of those vehicles, was involved in this car-to-car -car shooting. No chain, baby. FB producing all the heat. Yeah, no. all the heat. 18 slash 19, I was robbed at gunpoint. Pull up to my hood, you get hood tax. To my hood, you get hood it involves me re with re re retracting my support publicly of Blueface some years ago when I became aware he gave a statement on an individual by the name of Tester. Hey YouTube family, although they are both imprisoned and locked up, these two people can't stay out of the headlines. Now, we just came to find out that Blueface beat his charge out there in Las Vegas, Nevada. I mean, well, he didn't beat it, but we came to find out that Blueface they only gave him probation on that where they closed the case at. Now, this one in Los Angeles, California, he has officially been sentenced to four years to the California Department of Corrections. Now, coming right up off of that, we was able to see Christian Rock's mugshot because guess what, you two family? Christian Rock is locked up as well. Now, God damn. I can't help but feel bad for baby Charles Barkley. Both parents are locked up, and I can only imagine what side of the family the baby is staying with because guess what? It don't matter. Yeah, no, no, man. Both sides of the family. Let's just say, let's just say the money didn't change them. Here it is today, YouTube family. Right after TMZ was able to catch up with WAC 100, who acts as Blueface's manager, and ask him about the time, in which case WAC would say he only for the new 9 to 10 months. All right, what's up, WAC 100? What's up, what's up, what's up with you? All right, so we just left out of court. Uh, yeah. The judge decided to violate Blueface's probation, yeah. and said it, people are saying he's going to have to do the full four years in prison. Yeah. Can you break it down to us? He got four years, 400 something days off. Come down to three years, he go to the state, he do third time. He be home in nine, 10 months. All right, thank That's you so it. much, Wack. Here it is today. OG Crip, man. Beautiful world, nightmare rolling. OG Crip, Spider Loke, man. XG unit member. He got the song, It's a Beautiful World. That beautiful day. Is no more creepier song than that. It's a beautiful world, cuz. Ooh, we hey, imagine coming outside, cuz, and you look to the sky, cuz, and you can tell, cuz, it's a beautiful world. Now, off the rip, there's not a creepier song than that. It don't get more creepier than that, even though Blueface definitely had a song called Respect My Crippin'. That was pretty damn creepy. Here it is today. Two of California's most craftiest crip rappers. Blueface bleed him and the OG triple OG triple Spider Loke are at eyes. Now, why are they at eyes, Cliff? Why can you tell us what? Because Spider Loke just came out and straight up said the Blueface is a rat. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Right here in the year 2024, Spider Loke has came to the internet right now and said Blueface bleed him is a bop bop rat. Well, don't kill the messenger, bro. I'm just the messenger, man. I'm just your player upon the cliff on the dead homies. It wasn't me. Hey, so with such accusations, I I'm assuming that paperwork is about to follow soon. Now, the Loke must have woke up on the other side of this beautiful day and said, oh, my dead homies, I'm about to shake the internet up today, cuz. It's a beautiful day outside, cuz. And I get tired, cuz. Well, let me go ahead and quit running my African lips and go ahead and just run that clip. Now, off top, we never, ever, ever celebrate anybody going to jail. We get no pleasure out of that. Outside of someone who has harmed a child, you know, on some weird stuff, and we just trust and believe that something real on the violation side is waiting for them, even though things have gotten tricky in the system, at least out here, with special needs yards and the over the influx of people who fit that category. It's just hard to politic. Salute Bay Machiavelli, keep on flowing TMC. Salute for the super chat, Nick. So of course, we never celebrate anybody being sentenced to the system. However, 
the sympathy that would be coming forth for me typically, normally, especially with a keyway, is kind of absent because I happen to be privy to information that a lot of people is, are not privy to. And it involves me re with re 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 retracting my support publicly of Blueface some years ago when I became aware he gave a statement on an individual by the name of Tester from the San Fernando Valley Tres A's. It's against the code. It is not one of these mainstream situations as not going to trial. For anyone who knows about acquiring paperwork and things of that nature, if you don't go to trial, it's very difficult to get any paperwork um, associated with any trial. But I am in firsthand knowledge and fully aware that there's an individual that has considered themselves on the run. And considering statute of limitations in California, if I start doing my math, I believe it's typically seven years. But they've been on the run the better part of seven years, and maybe they will feel some relief soon. But it's all a result of an alleged altercation they may or may not have had with Blueface out by Santa Clarita. Uh, or it could have been Valencia. They're very close on the map if you take a look. But there was an incident where there was an alleged potential Attempt, no, not even attempt, robbery. Um, and there was an alleged, I believe, shootout in defense of the robbery. With the hood up, they're saying that that's the black Mercedes that was involved in that shooting. I'm going to go and make a wide throw right now, show you some of the closures. The 14 freeway southbound at the 5 completely shut down right now because of this investigation. And there was an apprehension by the law of Blueface and there was a statement made that included not only Cash but Kim Jones as well as witnesses to the said event that caused Blueface to become a victim which he told the officers and there's so much detail to the story this individual had to be happened to be someone he experienced a high school rival we read uh, alleged to Blueface according to Blueface him and his dude, they had like some competition in football over the, uh, I think, quarterback position or leading wide receiver position. And I believe Blueface had won that competition. Then I believe they even competed for the heart of a female. Classic story. And from what I understand, overstand, understand, have been told, Blueface also allegedly won that um uh, competition so apparently that allegedly led to an encounter after blueface had became blueface not sure if it was tatiana leading up to it tatiana out however it was that first blue chain was the one that he was wearing and alleged no chain baby fb producing all the heat yeah i know all the heat pull up to my hood you get hood tax to my hood, you get hood now it's alleged it's alleged now i don't know come at the messenger you know what i mean this is just the information that your boy cliff received it is alleged that members of the bps the black peacestone nation out there in california it was alleged that it was members of that gang that stripped that boy dying and it's even alleged that if they didn't get away with everything that they wanted to get away with they'd actually even go on to make a diss song. Now, the people that made the diss song wouldn't be the people that's involved with the stripping of Los Angeles artists and Schoolyard Crip representative Blueface Bleed'em, but they would be from the same neighborhood. Now on this song, they would be vividly heard saying that when we strip that crab nigga, we gonna strip him right. When we strip that crab nigga, we gonna strip him right. Get no pass to the Smeagos, you'll lose your life. Now, the first news clipping that I showed y'all in this video was a news clipping from when this situation actually occurred. It's alleged Blueface Bleed'em got stripped down for his original butts down blue piece. And it's even alleged that the diamonds wasn't even real. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and play y'all that full news clipping because I know a lot of people didn't catch this when Blueface first came out. Then I'm gonna come back because Spider Loke wasn't done with Blueface and he had a lot to say about WAC 100. Lines two. 
Sure, and Juan, we're looking at the spot where this whole thing came to an end, but it was shots fired at one point, apparently between two vehicles. Where are we right now? This is going to be the southbound 14, where this drones, the southbound 5 freeway. We're right in the Newhall Pass, very close to Newhall. You can see a number of officers down there from the California Highway Patrol and the Sheriff's Department, and one of those vehicles, at least one of those vehicles, was involved in this car-to-car -car shooting. The one in the front there with the hood up, they're saying that that's the black Mercedes that was involved in that shooting. I'm going to go and make a wide throw right now, show you some of the closures. The 14 freeway southbound at the 5 completely shut down right now because of this investigation, but the shooting apparently happened way up over here at Sierra Highway and Newhall at that intersection. They're working that intersection right now. They're searching for any evidence of shots being fired in, in that area. The truck last seen on Sierra Highway disappeared. They don't know where it's at. The other vehicles wound up on the freeway over here on the 14 southbound at the 5 southbound. That's where they took a bunch of suspects into custody. Sheriff's Department was out here. No ambulances have been called. They are checking local hospitals to see if there are any gunshot victims being reported right now. Though This is where my lack of concern and sympathy for his plight as a key way in a convict comes because I am fully aware that he participated in giving his statement against his alleged robber, right? So therefore, you know, he ain't no good. Hold no hundred notice too. That's why y'all don't know how big of a fraud he is when he even called himself speaking on anything. So I don't know you two family man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel, bro. Especially since WAC 100 is the number one. He called himself the Exposers. He's the CEO of a group that calls themselves the Exposers. And on Clubhouse, they like to expose everybody motherfucking paperwork, bro. So I don't know. Now, I seen somebody in the comment section the other day call WAC 100 Porky the Pyro. And I thought that was funny, bro. I had to find that comment. So I don't really know, bro. I ain't never really heard no shred on Blueface name, but I do know the story when he got stripped down. Yes, man, I do know that story. So y'all jump in the comment section right now. Do y'all think there's any merit to what Spider Loke is saying? Honestly, and to be completely honest with y'all, bro, you gotta have evidence for this type of accusations, man. So, hey, all I'm gonna do is sit back and wait for the paperwork. I'm not pointing no fingers at either side, bro. I just wanna see what's gonna come out of WAC 100 mouth. I'm gonna be real, bro. I wanna see what's about to come up out of WAC 100 mouth. I already know he's gonna go on the clubhouse rant. And WAC 100 and Spider Loke are arch nemesis. Now, Spider Loke buried the hatch with the game, but not so much with WAC 100. So, I don't know, YouTube family. We for to see what comes out of this. But anyways, we're going to sit up there and stay down till we come up together. Like I always tell y'all, we stand down, then we coming up, man. And it's looking like I'm about to hit 50,000 subscribers, bro. I appreciate every Man, listen, bro. Man, I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, bro. The slums, bro. It's a lot of y'all that's been still here with me, man, since I had two, 300 subscribers, bro. Bro, I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Y'all best believe, man, your boy for the start doing the money giveaways, bro. You better believe it, bro. And I know all the ones that's been down with me, bro, from the jump, from the natural state, man. Hey, stay stand up, bro. I'm doing this for y'all, bro. But yeah, I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers, YouTube family, and I appreciate y'all. Y'all really stay down with your player partner, Cliff, bro. And I salute y'all for that, man. Real talk, bro. But anyways, you two family, we're going to stand out till we come up together, bro. And shit, man. Keep your ears open, man. Keep your eyes on the lookout, you hear me? Because I just might drop again, bro. But anyway, man, shit, man. As always, man, I'm gone. I'm the man of the year. I'm the man of the year. I'm the man of the year. Yeah, I'm pimping like I'm done one. I'ma stop at the store, sell me an onion. Go and get some backwoods in the back of Funyun. Let a nigga play me sweet and he gon' meet the honey bun. I ain't ride with it unless he got a hundred round drum. Hit that nigga with the drink, he gon' butt up out I'm bomb. Hit her with the daddy stroke, I got the little baby sprung. Gotta keep that thing on you coming from where I'm from. 